this play as yes sir the essentiality of the prince the voice is given by rishi as well as the little girl vidhi as the companion of the young girl the voice of the fellow is given by rishi see today that the mayor perry and who as the mayor's personal guard prabhu is the narrator any ratri dia sakshi khush and the fish and the needy people tanisha is the sea stress lion kesha is the angel Prince as the lead actor, Palla, Ovish, Harnish, and Dev are the backstage supporters for this play. This play is directed by Yash Rajawa, and producer of this play is our English Mohan. The happy prince was a handsome statue. One day, a swallow came and sat near the feet of the prince. When swallow was going to sleep, a large drop of water fell upon him. The swallow was amazed that from where the drop of water fell. Then the prince answered him that this were the tears of the prince. Why you are crying, prince? I am the happy prince. When I was alive, I lived a decent life and helped many people. Can you help me? Yes, I can help you. So what work you are, prince? I am seeing a house in which a woman is seeing the gown, and on the bed the baby is crying. <laughs> Because her mother has no money to feed her. So take this red ruby and put it on the table. The prince gave a ruby to the swallow to give it to the poor seamstress. Now, as your work is done, I am flying back to Egypt. Please, swallow, stay one more night with me. Yes, I will stay with you, but for only one night. I am seeing a writer who is feeling cold and has no money. So please give him the sapphire from my eyes. Okay, I will take the sapphire and give it to the writer. Then prince gave a sapphire which was inserted in the prince's eyes to give it to the square to give it to the writer. I have come to bid you goodbye, prince. Can't you stay one more night with me? No, I can't stay with you more because it is winter and the snow will be soon increasing. Please, fellow, just stay one more night with me, and you have to be allowed to fly to Egypt. There stands a little match girl. Her matchsticks have fallen in water. They all are spoiled, and if she doesn't bring any money at home, her father will beat her. She will cry. Take this another sapphire and give it to the girl. Prince then gave another sapphire to the swallow to give it to the little match girl in the square below. Now, as you are blind, prince, so I will stay with you always. No, you must go away. No, I will not go anywhere. Now the prince was blind, so the swallow decided to stay there and tell everything to the prince that was happening in the city. The swallow flew all over the city. I told the prince that the rich are making merry in the beautiful houses while the needy are sitting at ease. Take all the gold from my body and give it to the needy people. Goodbye, dear prince. I am going to the house of death. The snow came, and after the snow, frost came, and the bird said, "Goodbye. I am going to the house of death." The swallow fell down dead at prince's feet. After a cracking sound came, and the leaden heart broke into two pieces. The next morning, the mayor was walking in the square with the town councillors and saw the statue broken into pieces. The mayor asked to take the statue and take it to the furnace to melt it, but the leaden heart of the prince was left. God asked the angels to bring any two precious things from earth. Then the angels came to the earth and searched for two precious things, and finally they found the leaden heart of the prince and the dead swallow. They took it for the god. By this play, we try to show that real happiness lies in giving and not in taking. This also justifies the title of the play, The Happy Prince.
We hope you like it. Thank you.